Wah, this is Terrence Gangster Williams, a.k.a. OG Giggity, a.k.a. Mr. Ass Right Back, a.k.a. The People's Champ, Terrence Civilian Williams. Birdman, get up, wake up. We need to talk. First of all, we don't have to panic. That's number one. We're not in panic mode. Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar just dropped. Yeah, Kendrick Lamar dropped his song, y'all. He dropped his song and and got the, the fans going crazy. They going crazy that he uh did Drake. He went in. But I will say this, y'all. I will say this for the record. Kendrick Lamar is very good at what he do. Drop them lyrics, make songs, he snap, he go in. But Kendrick Lamar fans is not paying attention to this. You all correct me if I'm wrong. Drop this in the comments. He cheated the fans. And what I mean by that is this. And I'm going to say it one more again. Correct me if I'm wrong. It has been a long time since someone sampled somebody's lyrics in a rap battle. Yeah, that's right. See, people ain't paid attention when he took uh, I think that's Pusha T lines. Uh, you signed to a per that signed to a per that signed to a person. Then he took some from Rick Ross. So now I know when people make regular songs, they sample stuff. You know, okay, pop, pop, pop. But this is a this a rap battle, and you sampling somebody's stuff. So you're not being creative. You're not coming from the dome. You just took a while to respond, and this is what you gave us. That, that he cheated, y'all. I mean, like I said, it was a good song. I think he could have came harder. Um, or I think he was, he, by him taking so long, he had to give us something. And for all the Drake haters, they like, oh, boy, Kendrick smashed him. But they're not paying attention to Kendrick sample somebody's stuff. Kendrick is a lyricist. We, we all agree with that, hands down. But he cheated. He sampled somebody's stuff, y'all. Come on, man. So, Stunner, I hit you up to let you know you ain't got a tweet, got a this, no, we ain't got any word right now. Everything's still cool um, because that wasn't no blow. Because here, here's the thing. It's so many people that want to see Drake fall. They want to see Drake bleed uh, to where they try too hard, and that's why he's always being victorious because there's too many people coming for him and he get to analyze, sit back, and watch, and then attack. Now, I don't know what's going on with all the Ghost Riders, everybody throwing that out there, his Ghost Rider did, did this and this. Um, I'm pretty sure you you done wrote some stuff for him. Well, now you need to write some stuff for him. Get him, get him on the phone, get him on with that thing, your FaceTime, where y'all see each other and tell him, but put this ball down. Put, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, a hundred, how you be saying that stunner? You know, that stock stuff stank. Hundred breaks up time with the sweepers that don't pop pop. Oh, bro, you got to give him something now, cause uh, the people waiting for him to respond. Now he might have to back to back Drake. I mean, uh, Kendrick. Drake gonna have to back to back Kendrick. He gonna have to come with something like that, because um, you know when he had the beef with Meek Mills, he was able to talk about his plaques, his money, all his stuff. But right now it's big dog on big dog. So Kendrick had the same accomplishments. Um, well, y'all correct me. Y'all know about all the billboards because Drake broke a lot of records with that. But still, it's still Big Dog with Big Dog. Uh, and Kendrick already said, forget the big three, it's just big me. Boom! That was, he, he, he snapped on that. But, but let's get to the one he just did. I think he cheated the fans. Um, for being a big dog like he is, me personally, I feel like um, he sampled uh, took somebody lyrics, so it's like y'all criticize Drake for having Ghost Riders, but here's a, here he even took somebody's stuff in a rap battle and this that ain't fair. Or y'all or y'all let me know if it's cool if that was fair. Y'all gonna let him get away with that? You know what I'm saying? We here to talk about it. That's all we here just to have fun and talk about it. Um, but y'all know where I'm at. I'm seeing him off for life. Um, but if somebody drops something hard, we got gotta give him these props. Gotta let him know yeah he did that, but we gotta shake back. So uh, OVO. Y'all get it together, man. Get it together. Um, because 
the people waiting to see how you're going to respond. You see there's a lot of people um, that's at you, that's going against you. It, it, you, you, and you got some heavyweights at your top. That's the, see, that's the good thing. And the reason why I love this so much, y'all, because I can relate to this. Because when I come home, I had a bunch of the little piano. I had a few little handful of little heavyweights. They came for OG Giggity. And I stood the test of time. You did? Stunner, I need a new one of these, man. All right, enough is enough. Now, I'm tired of All right, now. But back to what I was saying. I stood the, Let me see what time is it. Let me check Stunner Watch. See what time is it? Let me see. Check his watch. Let's see what time is it? All right. I got enough time. So anyway, um, so I stood the test of time because they was hating on me. They wanted to see me go down. And the crazy part about it, they was tag teaming on me. They was doing all kind of stuff, coming for me. And instead of me on the decline, I was going up. My numbers, instead of going up. Going up, going up. And instead of moving now, I've been having my YouTube channel for two years now. And I'm at 132K. It's hard to get them to subscribe, get them numbers like that. It's hard. Well, unless y'all pay for it. But then you, if you pay for it, we're going to know you fake it because you got to have that. When you get to 100K, everybody, I'm going to put y'all on game. When y'all see somebody with over 100K subscribers, what, ask them where that silver plaque at. If they don't have that plaque, they didn't cheat. I wonder if people selling plaques too. Cause they got all kind of schemes and scams going on out here. Boy, y'all got a lot going on out here. Anyway, I'm enjoying it. So, our, um, back to what I was saying. I just I, I just look at that with so many uh uh, uh Rick Ross, um Kanye West, um uh, Kid Lamar, um, who is there's a lot of the uh, big dog oh Pluto, I, that was Kanye said that, that it was uh Kanye said that it was uh, that 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 future was against him too. I don't know that. But I will say this, um I just feel like with so many people teaming up against Drake and they putting a lot of energy to toward Drake, he he know who his enemies are, so that's how he able to strike strike and stay relevant because they they want to see him. They 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 doing too much. They doing too much. They coming at him too hard, and he built for this. He built whether he got ghost right. Drake put me on the team. Whether he got ghost riders or not, he built for this. And he's standing the test of time. He's standing in the paint with him. And it's good, because I like how kids let it be known, too. It's just fun, man. They just keep it on wax, man. That's how it's fun. But I think kids took a while for us to be waiting to drop that. It took a, like a week or two. How long was he before he found a spine for that? And you didn't sample? See, y'all just looking at how he came on with that nice little tune, um, that throwback, and then how he stepped. Now, he stepped, but like I say, he stepped. With some other people stepping, and that ain't stepping. Okay, now now that I got that out the way, y'all tell me what y'all think. Um, I say it's fun, it's good for hip hop. You know, CMR, baby, cash money. Y'all trying to get signed? How did the boy? Um, hit me in the DM. But uh, listen, listen. Let me tell y'all this here. Don't be sending me. Don't keep sending me on some time. OG, check me out. What you think? I'm trying to sign. Nah, man. Listen. I'm tired of hearing lyrics. I'm tired of hearing y'all rapping, going hard. We need to hit. We need to get song. All right? Don't be sending me all that because you should come out. That, 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 you got your lyrics. I don't want to hear that. I need a good song where the people going to be in the club dancing or them girls going to be in the strip club shaking it up. That's how I know we're going to get us some money. Other than that, don't send that stuff to me, man, because I'm about to stop answering that stuff, bro. All right? Because there's a lot of lyrics. Stunner got lyrics. But anyway, um. Y'all know my motto. Let's say no to drugs. Stop the violence. Put the guns down. Make sure y'all get tested for HIV and AIDS because y'all need to know y'all status. We got the non-profit. They need us. The Instagram they need us. Third War. The movie. Them boys at war. The reality show, Survive Without Birdman, is out on this channel right now. Y'all go check that out. Thank y'all for all the love and support. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.